What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. The last video you guys saw was me testing out this Rev G4 pedal. And the way that I tested it out was by going directly into my audio interface, going into Cubase. And while that is a way you can get away with, it's a way that it can be done, it's not necessarily the most practical. Obviously most people are gonna buy this to either throw it through an amplifier or they're gonna throw it through uh, you know, some sort of a power amp and to a speaker cap. So I realized that, you know, I also wanted to start testing out more, you know, physical gear, you know, instead of being stuck just with my audio interface and only being able to get those tones. So I realized I'm going to have to start buying something uh, that will allow me to do that. And one of the first things that I decided to pick up was this Seymour Duncan Power Stage 170. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. Let me zoom in. And the reason I decided to go with a Power Stage 170 is because I also wanted to start building a live rig. So, meaning a pedal board uh, and start putting my pedals together. And I felt that this was an amazing foundation for that because this comes with a built-in preamp. And what that basically means is that when all of your effects are off, you have a clean channel preamp built in to this pedal. So you can still run your delays, your reverbs, your choruses, all through this pedal while your distortion pedals are off and it sounds amazing. Um, now, I, this is a solid state power amp, but it's still very, very tube-like and sounds very, very warm and also has a three band EQ mounted right on top with your bass, mid, and treble. So it's compact, extremely versatile, and I cannot think of something that would be more practical than this. Uh, it's gonna work really, really good with whatever you decide to go with for your live rig, whether that be an Axe 8 or any other type of a fractal product or uh, some sort of a amp modeler like a Helix or you know, a head rush, whatever, you know, whatever I'm missing, but it's gonna work awesome. And that's definitely why I went with this Power Stage 170. So for today, uh, super excited that I got it and I'll show you some of the other stuff that I picked up as well, but I still have this Rev4 in my possession. So I thought it'd be fun to throw this with the Maxon OD808 Overdrive and see what kind of tones we get out of it. So without further ado, let's get started. All right guys, so after the Power Stage 170, the next thing that I picked up was this Bugera 2x12 Turbo Sound Cabinet. Um, obviously I was looking for a cabinet to push the sound through, but I didn't want to go overboard. I wanted something that was going to have just a lot of good low end, a lot of good clarity for metal, but I also needed something that was going to be practical and compact. And obviously if you can kind of tell the size of this room isn't very big and I'm not going to sell out the Rolls Bowl anytime soon. So really just wanted to go with something that made sense for me and for what I have going on right now with the channel. So. For the price, you cannot beat this Bugera 2x12 cab. Uh, I've been messing with it for a day now and it just sounds absolutely amazing. It has really, really good clarity with a good low end punch. The speakers don't distort like other speakers that I've read about do uh, at this price range. Now you guys can pick this 2x12 up for right about 229 US dollars. Now, interestingly enough, that's the same price for a Rev G4. So that's a pretty, pretty good deal when you're talking about something that's actually very quality. It feels quality, it looks quality, it's made very well. And so far, I love the way that it looks in this room. Uh, it's got a handle on top of it. So between that and the Power Stage 170, I just feel like it's a very convenient live rig to have, or just a rig overall, if you wanna just lug it around and go jam somewhere and go do whatever you're gonna do. It's a very, very easily thing to, a uh, very convenient thing to kind of move around with. All right, so let's start getting some tones. Uh, you guys will see something come up on the screen here pretty soon that's gonna show you what I'm working with on top of the Bugera. I don't actually have the pedal board yet because I haven't picked one, so when I do, I'll probably have a little bit more of an aesthetic thing going on as far as these pedals being lined up. Uh, assuming I stick with the Rev G4, I still don't know if I'm gonna do that, but. Uh, and like I said, on top of that Power Stage 170, uh, you have a three band EQ, which I've already set. Uh, you'll see the settings come up right now and it's got a clean preamp in it. So let's go through some of those tones first and then we'll go through the Maxon and then finally we'll go through the Rev G4. Uh, so let's start out with some of these clean tones. Uh, here we are in the uh, first pickup selector position of the Solar. a very warm natural feel to it like I said I've played through clean tube amps that sound really good and this is really doing a really good job of mimicking that giving you that warm tone it's not it's not uh, that normal stale sound that you would get out of a solid state uh, amplifier it sounds really really good uh, let's split the coil so you guys can hear what that sounds like
Sounds, sounds good and sparkly. It sounds really good. Uh, so let's kick on this max on and see what kind of tones we get out of this thing. Uh, I'm going to bring the overdrive up just a little bit than where it's normally at because usually I'm only using it to push and overdrive other amplifiers. So let's, let's see what this thing sounds like when it stands by itself. Let's turn that overdrive up a little bit. If you guys have seen any of the reviews on the Rev G4, then you know that this pedal, aside from just being a preamp distortion pedal, it has three different gain stages. And the three settings are the off position, the red channel, and the blue channel. The red channel being a very high gain, very bottom end heavy, uh, very uh, kind of a squishy type of a sound. And the blue being a little bit more tight um, and just being a little bit more precise. Uh, kind of mimicking, I feel, more of the overall sound that you get out of the Rev G3. Uh, so let's kick this thing on. Um, let me give you guys the tones out of the Rev G4 without the Max on yet. And we are in the off position right now. Kick it over to the red setting. I'm gonna turn the gain up just a little bit because I'm not overdriving the pedal, so get a little bit more out of it. Kick it up to the blue channel. So it sounds good, but my favorite tone is getting these things overdriven and then just making them really, really breathe fire. So let's 
leave it. Let's set this thing over to the red uh, gain stage. I'm gonna turn the gain down just a little bit to kind of prepare it for that, uh, for that overdrive. And let's kick on the max on. And this is my favorite part. I love the way that that sounds. The Rev G4 and the Rev G3 just, comp I mean, obviously coupled with, I'm assuming any good uh, overdrive are just gonna sound absolutely amazing. And the way that that Power Stage 170 just perfectly colors the tone and just really gives you a little bit more of an option. So if you have like another preamp or something else that you wanna run with it, you can get your settings done with the pedal itself and then you can you still have options on top of the Power Stage 170 as far as bass, mid and treble if you just kind of want to accomplish just a little bit more out of your tone. So I'm loving this investment. I think it's gonna pay off big time and I'm super stoked to start building up this live rig. All right, so obviously you guys can hear that for building a live rig and getting that really chunky metal tone and just being able to have tons of versatility when it comes to building, uh, building upon your tone, I, I can't really see any better substitute than, you know, this Power Stage 170 combo with a small 2x12 cab. Now, I'm not saying you'd have to stick with that small 2x12 cab. That's obviously an entry level 2x12 cab, even though it sounds amazing for the price. Uh, I'll link it down in the description for you guys so you guys can check that out. Uh, but it, on, honestly, I think that it beats kind of picking out uh, an $1,100 to $1,500 tube amplifier and kind of getting stuck with whatever tone you get out of that. And yeah, you can just isolate the power section if you wanted to, but you'd still have to lug around the entire amp head itself wherever you went. With this Power Stage 170, you can just kind of mount it into, you know, any type of pedal board, cover it up, and then just, you know, just walk off with it. And uh, wherever you happen to be going, if there's a back line or if you just have a small cab like that Bugera 2x12, it's just much more convenient to do overall. And I think it was a great alternative to buying this huge rig that I really honestly don't need. Uh, but like I said before, I'm extremely excited to be able to move into the physical world of being able to test gear out for you guys. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to that. I've got a whole bunch of pedals in mind that I want to start uh, testing out now. So. Uh, yeah, just look for those videos to come out and uh, thank you guys as always for watching. If you guys found this video helpful or entertaining, please like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one.